Word 2013 and 2016. Templates and styles, the basics. How documents are made. Before you type the first word in a document, a number of decisions and specifications must be made regarding the size and orientation of the page, the margins, typeface, font size, and line spacing. All have to be specified. This collection of specifications that determine the appearance of a document is known as a template. Every document created using Word, even the simplest, is based on one. Microsoft Word uses a default template called the Normal Template when you create a new blank document. Unless it has been modified, the Normal Template specifies a letter size page with the portrait orientation and one inch margins on all sides. A template also supplies a set of styles for a new document. In the Normal Template, the default style is the Normal Style, which uses a default typeface, font size, and line spacing. However, there are many other styles to choose from, including the heading styles that define the document structure, which we discussed in an earlier module. If you want to change the appearance of what you type, you can apply a different style, modify an existing style, or even create a new style. There are template options too. You may already have several special purpose templates on your computer. In addition to the page format and the styles, a template may supply standard text. Your organization may have created customized templates such as a letterhead for formal correspondence. Also, you can make or modify your own templates for documents you create often and keep them on your hard drive. Specifications when formatting. There are many specifications when it comes to an accessible document. The most basic and necessary ones have to do with how the document is formatted. These include font. Choose a sans serif font like Arial or Verdana because Times New Roman can be hard to read for those with low vision. Font size. 12 point font is usually the minimum. 10 can be too small for people with low vision. Alignment. Make sure your documents are left aligned. It's much neater and easier to follow along. Line spacing. When sentences in a paragraph are too close together, it can potentially be hard for people with low vision to read. 1.15 line spacing is the minimum, but 1.5 is recommended, especially if you keep the left and right margins set to one inch. Italics. When you use italics, it can be hard for people with low vision to read. It is recommended that you should only use them if you absolutely have to. Underline. Avoid using underlines in your document. When a person sees something underlined, they expect it to be a link. All caps. When something is in all caps in a document, it could potentially be hard to read. Use all caps minimally, if at all. Templates overview. Modifying an existing template. To modify an existing template, you need to open it. In the Productivity tab, click Open to get to the Open dialog. You can also get to this dialog with shortcut keys. In Word 2013, press Alt plus F, O, C, B. In Word 2016, press Alt plus F, O, O. Then from the Files of Type dropdown, located to the right of the file name dropdown, select all Word templates, .dotx, .dotm, .dot. In the file name dropdown, locate and select the template you wish to customize. Make any changes you want to the page, specifications, and styles. Then save your changes. Creating a new template. To create a new template, you can start with an existing template or a new or existing document. If you start with an existing template, open the template, make the changes you want, and save it with a new name. If you start from a document, open the new or existing document and make your changes to the page formatting and styles. You may include text that appears each time a new document is based on the template, or you may save the file with no text. Next, when you save the template, select Word Template from the Save As Type pull-down list. Check that it has the correct extension. .dotx is the file extension used for templates in Word 2016, 2013, 2010, and 2007. Dot .dotm is for a template with macros built into it. Dot .dot is the extension you should use if you will be sharing your template with users who have Word 97 through 2003. Documents based on this type of template will open in Word 2013-2016 in the compatibility mode, which means you will not have all of the Word 2013-2016 features available to you. Finally, 
Give your new template a descriptive name in the file name text box. Be sure to save it in the location you prefer before you click Save. Styles Overview Use styles for all your text formatting. Recall from the module on requirements to make a document accessible that a document structure is determined by applying heading styles. Don't use the controls in the font or paragraph sections of the home or page layout tabs because making formatting changes that way interferes with accessibility. That also makes it difficult and confusing to revise your document styles later. To open the Styles pane, click on the Styles button in the Structure section of the Productivity tab. You can view how your text will look before you apply a style by checking the box next to the Show Preview at the bottom of the Styles pane. There are three types of styles indicated in the Styles pane. Paragraph styles, also known as block styles, are identified by the paragraph symbol after the style name. To apply a paragraph style, place your cursor anywhere in the paragraph in front of the paragraph marker, and then click on the style name. Character style. Character styles are identified by the lowercase a after the style name. To apply a character style, highlight the desired text, then click on the style name. Combined styles are identified by having both a lowercase a and a small paragraph symbol with an underline between them. These styles can be applied as either paragraph styles or character styles. If you merely place the cursor in the paragraph and apply the style, it will be applied to the whole paragraph as a paragraph style. If you select the whole paragraph, include the hard return at the end of it. It will also be applied as a paragraph style. If anything from one character or space up to the entire paragraph without the hard return at the end of it is selected, the style will be applied to the selected block of text as a character style. When applying styles, remember that the last applied style determines the formatting. Also, when you apply a character style over a paragraph style, the character style will be dominant. Creating and modifying styles. You may want to change the appearance of an existing style or even create a new one. Microsoft offers a variety of methods for doing either. The following examples will get you started. Create a new style. If you need to create a new style, the easiest way is to start with an existing style similar to the one you want to create. In the Styles pane, click on the style you want to base your new style on. Click the New Style button at the lower left corner of the pane. When the Create New Style from Formatting dialog box opens, type a name for a new style in the Name box. Make the changes you want to your new style and click OK. Word's Help function will introduce you to other ways to create new styles in Word. Modify an existing style. With the Styles pane open, hover your cursor over a style name, but don't click on it yet. When you move the cursor over a style name, a box appears along with a drop-down arrow on the right side. Click the arrow and then the Modify option. The Modify Style dialog box will open. All of the options for defining a style can be found in this box. Make your changes, then click OK. Take a few minutes to explore all the control you have over your style. Your options may not be limitless, but I'll bet you can't count them all the first time through. Word's help function will introduce you to other ways to modify styles in Word. This concludes templates and styles, the basics.